Hey everybody. Okay, I've showed you a few fonts that I've made and things like that. I'm going to make an entirely new font, but I'm going to do it live and I'm going to speed it up just so it's a little easier to see. And we'll, we'll um, I don't know, take a look at this when I'm done. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so I just created the entire, all the characters for a new font that I am just about to make. So, this is uh, the previous font I made. I'm going to go, uh, I guess, really need help on this one? <laughs> uh, do you want to create a new font or a new style from the current font? Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, new font. Brand new font. Okay. Sweet. Now, let's see, um, I need to select my letters and stuff first, so I'm going to close this, open up artboard, lowercase, nice, I, I did everything backwards, so it would be, you know, A, B, C, C, D, E, F, G, H, yeah, so just, just so everything's in order. Now, select everything, nice and fast. Okay, this is lowercase, so A through Z. Look how fast this is. Awesome! Awesome, it works. Okay, uh, lowercase is done. Numbers 0 through 9. Make sure, yep, okay, good. 0 through 9. Loading. 0 through 9. Then, artboard lowercase. Make sure, yep, okay, good. Select all the letters, capital A through Z. Sweet, nice and fast. I thought there was going to be some issues, or at least take a little while, because each one of those characters is pretty complicated when you get really close to it. Okay, um, A through Z, good, that's done. It doesn't look like any of the letters are malfunctioning, so that's exciting. Um, okay, what's what's next? A through Z, then... Now the extra, extra crazy characters. Select all of them, make sure they're in the right place. Yep, okay, good. And not A through Z, 0 through 9, but anything else. Batch. Right on. And that should load up just the same. Cool. Those are all of my characters. Let's run through, make sure everything's good. Awesome. Sweet. I just I just made a brand new font. Okay. Um, export. Let's see, what should I call this? Lots of curls. Loops. Curly loop, genius. <laughs> okay, curly loop. Okay, and then save, and let's save it in my fonts folder. Curly loop, I like that. Wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, okay, that works. It looks like like they've got that hyphen in the, in the middle. That's good. Curly loops, saving, awesome. Your font curly loop was just exported. Open export, open exported font. Okay, right on. Sweet. Now, install, curly loop, installing, piece of cake. Really simple. That's probably one of my favorite things, is just how fast it is to install this stuff. Okay, um, it looks like it's been installed.
curly loop. That should be easy to find. Okay, now let's open up my uh, Word, Microsoft Word 2010, and let's see, A, B, C, C, U, oh, there it is, curly loop, that is one thing that they may want to fix, is all of the fonts that I've made are invisible, so you have no idea what I'm typing. <laughs> Nice. Anyway, it installed, and I guess with more um, work, it's going to be more exciting. And it is super easy to install, and I think everybody should use this program because look how fast and easy this stuff was. Each letter could be anything you want it to be. Totally awesome. I think next I'll make like a Halloween font or something. Cool. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe, like this video, comment below on what you would like me to make, and I will try and help you out. Thank you.